What are the strange floating hills on Pluto? New image reveals mysterious extraterrestrial icebergs several miles wide. The floating hills are found in the vast ice plain informally named Sputnik Planum within Pluto's heart. They are likely miniature versions of the larger, jumbled mountains found in Sputnik's western region. Follows news last week that Pluto may be covered in a lot more water ice than astronomers first thought. Hills of water ice could be floating in a sea of frozen nitrogen on Pluto, moving over time like icebergs in Earth's Arctic Ocean. These hills, which can be seen in the latest images studied by the New Horizons team, are believed to measure one to several miles across. They are found in the vast ice plain informally named Sputnik Planum within Pluto's heart and are likely miniature versions of the larger, jumbled mountains on the region's western border. Their discovery follows news last week that Pluto may be covered in a lot more water ice than astronomers previously thought, which could boost the chances for finding a liquid sea and alien life. Hills of water ice on Pluto float in a sea of frozen nitrogen and move over time like icebergs in Earth's Arctic Ocean. This shows the inset in context next to a larger view. The resolution is about 1050 feet, 320 meters, per pixel and 300 miles, almost 500 kilometers, long and 210 miles, 340 kilometers, wide. It was taken 9,950 miles, 16,000 kilometers, from Pluto, 12 minutes before New Horizons closest approach to Pluto on July 14th. Chains of the drifting hills are formed along the flow paths of the glaciers. When the hills enter the cellular terrain of central Sputnik Planum, they become subject to the motions of the nitrogen ice, and are pushed to the edges of the cells where the hills cluster in groups reaching up to 12 miles 20 kilometers, across. At the northern end of the image, the feature informally named Challengicles, honoring the crew of the Lost Space Shuttle Challenger, appears to be an especially large accumulation of these hills, measuring 37 by 22 miles 60 by 35 kilometers. This feature is located near the boundary with the uplands, away from the cellular terrain, and may represent a location where hills have been beached due to the nitrogen ice being especially shallow. Last week, NASA said that Pluto may be covered in a lot more water ice than astronomers previously thought. The space agency has now stitched together images from the observations to create a three-dimensional data cube to map the findings. Using observations taken in infrared light by the RAL, Linear et al. on Imaging Spectral Array LISA, instrument, astronomers have created false color maps to plot the concentration of Pluto's water ice. The two scans were taken 15 minutes apart on July 14, 2015 from 67,000 miles away, showing the hemisphere visible to new horizons as it flew by. According to NASA, water ice is the crustal bedrock of Pluto, and over the course of the changing seasons, it is covered by more volatile ices. One of these other ices is methane, which can block the spectral signature of water ice. In the first map, shown on the left, the researchers compared Lisa's spectra with a pure ice template spectrum to work around this. But, the map only shows areas that were either very rich in water, or very low in methane. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.